we finally have high resolution photos of the Sunbrion, the Moonbrion 2.0, whatever you wanna call it. It's right here. We're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna take a look at all the other evolutions. We're gonna take a look at past evolutions from other sets. We're gonna talk, is this set really evolving skies? But first off, we're just gonna appreciate this card. And honestly, the unfortunate thing, because the market is crazy, is get ready to break out your wallets and pay big time. I know that this, I see how this can be controversial for some, comparing it to the original, the Moonbrion from Evolving Skies. We'll talk about that, we'll do some comparisons, but it is important to note here that this is actually in Japanese from the Japanese set Terrastal Festival, which we're getting the English Prismatic Evolutions, not really a surprise. The cards that we got before, the low resolution ones, were actually English, they, they were just really hard to see. When they were enhanced, I guess the text got lost, but this is our first really good look at this, at this card. We had a really good idea before. This is going to be pretty wild, honestly. And I'm going to talk about like why I think that. One is just the absolute crazy demand in the market right now. And when you put a, something that, even if it doesn't fully live up to the expectations of Evolving Skies 2.0, even if it only comes halfway, things are going to be absolutely wild. And I think the demand is at a crazy point. And, um, but for now. We're just going to appreciate this card. I heard a lot of people saying if they have an Umbreon with the Rainbow Borders, it will be ruined. I think I do think it works with this card, and this is this is a nice looking card, right? Some people won't like it, which is totally fine, but a lot of people are going to like it. We're going to take a look at some of the other high res photos now. Like this is the Eevee, and I think this card it's it's a little bright, but I think this card's this card's kind of stunning too. This card is going to do really well. Last time, uh, Eevee, you know, Eevee really didn't get credit, but Eevee's getting, Eevee's getting included with the evolutions with the the SIR. So this card's really cool. This card's going to do really well. Next up, we have the Sylveon here. Now, this this one, I think, you know, honestly, this is what I'm going to say. I I think they're all going to do well. Obviously, this is a fun card. They're all they're all good designs. They capture whether whether you think it's too simple or too much or too busy or what. They capture the evolution of what it is, and the Sylveon hits it out of the park. We're gonna take a look at, like I said, the Evolving Skies versions and other versions of these cards. We'll talk maybe price points and stuff as well. Last up though, we have the Glaceon. This is one super fun as well. well. Albeit there's not a lot going on on this. They've just got like some ice stuff in the background. I did not notice this before. Is this Terrapagos? Wait, we're gonna have to come back, take a look at these real quick. I didn't really, is, no, so I'm not really seeing it on these other cards, but that's like a weird, that's like Terrapagos. Anyways, okay. From the anime, he has like two forms. If you haven't followed the anime, like he kind of starts off like this, but something's weird about his head. Um, that was not what this video was about, but uh, I just noticed that, so let me know if you like Umbreon, Eevee, Sylveon, or Glaceon, these are the ones we have uh, right now, high resolution photos. We didn't get high res of anything else. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Now, obviously, we're gonna talk about the Moonbreon, the Moon Kitty. It's, we're gonna start, uh, we'll just talk artwork wise. This card, he's just, just reaching out for the moon, you know? It's giant on top of a city. Now, comparatively, I might like this one better. I think I do, just art wise. That's just me, art's per personal preference, but I think I like the new one better. So, uh, that might, I don't know. I don't know if that's a hot take. Yeah, I really like the new one better. So, uh, let's talk price real quick. Let's talk sets, if you're not familiar, this is from Evolving Skies, which was a sword and shield set. The pull rates are pretty crazy. It's about one in 2000 packs to pull this card. So very, very, very tough pull rates. Currently, this is around $1,300, almost $1,400 raw, ungraded. 62% growth in the past three months. In the last month, 35% up. Last sold on TCG, we're seeing all 1,400 sales. 1,444, 1,449, 1,400 for the Moonbrion. Next up from Evolving Skies, just as hard to pull, is the Leafeon VMAX. Now, this card's actually down a little but uh and we don't have the high res version of the leafeon to compare it to but i do like the new leafeon as well it's, it's a nice looking card um he's 
you know, V-maxed up. He's huge. He's rolling a giant uh, thing of hay or whatever this is. So that's pretty cool. I, I, I do like this card as well. It's hard not, honestly, it's hard to not like the evolutions. I don't, I just can't hate on them, you know. But this card's down on the three-month chart. Uh, the last month, it's up just a percent. $250 card. Last solds are 220 260 220 and 300 for the Leafeon. Then we have the Glaceon. Okay, so this, we can do a comparison. This is the VMAX. We'll also touch on the Vs in this video as well. Now, this card I really like because I love Pokemon in the background. I'm a really sucker for it. And there's the Pikachu. You got a uh, Meryl, Azumarill. There's even a Phoebus in the background jumping out. So for me, this is a no-brainer of a card. $210 card, last sold, but... Uh, we also have 244, 235, 220, 240. So that puts market at 236 for the Glaceon. So if we come from this card to this card, well, you know, this is a cool card. I think I like this one a lot more. So that's not always, you know, <coughs> excuse me. People are going to have their preferences, but I really like this one a lot more than the new one. Then we have the Sylveon. Now this one's probably going to be tough for me as well, but Pokemon in the background for me, right? You got the Vaporeon chilling, you got an Eevee, Eevee, uh, you got Eevee up here, right? Kangas, is this Kangaskhan? So lots of stuff in the background, VMAX, so it's giant, it's just chilling. This is a very fun card. This is just over a $200 card. It's actually up 5% in the past month, um, 36 currently listed on TCG, and yeah, it's about, about 200 to 210 is current market value for the Sylveon. So now we'll go from this guy. And I realize I do know that these photos are small and we're going to go to this one. I like this card a lot, but between these, I'm still going Evolving Skies on this one. It just, it just wins for me. Next up, so this is an interesting point. This card, this is the Espeon VMAX. This is not from Evolving Skies, if you did not know. Uh, some people don't know that. It's, I understand why. This is actually from Fusion Strike. And I like this one. He's just chilling, sleeping on a building. This is a fun card as well. We got Pokemon in the background. We got the Wingles. Just chilling. This card's up 6%. It's about $200, $200 card. However, last sold's $220. So we're seeing $220, $200, So very difficult to pull as well. This is from Fusion Strike. Uh, pretty decent set from Sword and Shield as well. Now, next up we have... These are the lesser... These are just the Vs. These aren't the VMAX, so the Pokemon aren't giant. This is the Umbreon. So the Umbreon V, it's got the moon in the background. I like this card a lot as well. Obviously, if I had to pick between this one and the new one, I still like the new one. Uh, but this is a fun card. I love the, the pincer in the Pokemon back here. He's just chilling. Uh, this is about a $150 card. Now, back here, for a long time, this was sub-100. Had a big run-up. Some... Pokerev apparently was talking about it. Didn't He wasn't really pumping it, but he said that he liked this artwork better. So the card ran up to almost $200, and now it's stabilized around $150. So that's that's just the regular Umbreon, Umbreon V. So that's this is part of why Evolving Skies is so wild. It has so many evolutions, VMAXs and Vs. The Vs are easier to pull. And, you know, obviously it has like Rayquaza and stuff, so... It's just the most stacked set. There's an Espeon V. This card's actually on a little bit of a run right now. It just It's like $110, up 26%. Last solds are $95, dollars And Espeon's levitating the books. This is a really fun card as well. So, you know, not, not really a surprise here. Uh, we'll zoom out to the one year, just take a look. So it's one year high was just a little bit above where it's at now, 114 so we'll see if this card can continue to get back to that. Then we have a Sylveon V. Once again, just a regular V, not a V Max. This card is really fun. It's kind of cutesy in the, the bakery, just chilling with all like these cupcakes and stuff. This card is about $80. So when you start to add up all of the cards, the Evolutions, the Rayquaza, everything from Evolving Skies, it's, it's so expensive. And that is represented in... The booster boxes, which uh, we'll take a look at in a second as well. It's not going to be a one-to-one -one comparison between prismatic and evolving, but uh, I'll do the best I can to kind of connect the dots. 
Now we have a leafy on V. This is just a standard V and not the V Max, around $77, also from Evolving Skies. Now this one, between the leafy on V Max and the V, I kind of like this one a little bit more, personally. Just chilling in a pile of leaves, super adorable. So I, yeah, sometimes I, li I like the the cooler, more realistic, like maybe more like badassy ones. But sometimes I like the cutesy ones as well. And we we're we're just getting started, right? We got we got a few more. Then we got the Glaceon V. This one's around seventy two dollars. Uh, just sleeping in the snow. And this one between between the V here and the new one, you know, I might like the new one. I might like the new one of that one. Although I do like this this art, just chilling, simple, cute, adorable, and hard to pull. So we have some more evolutions, but before we get too far, I'm going to take a look at Evolving Skies. Also, I just wanted to uh, remind you guys, if you're new to the channel, if you're this far in the video, you're doing real good because we're, we're pretty far, but um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I say that because I'm doing a giveaway at 10K, 10,000 subscribers, which we're, we'll get there. We'll get there pretty soon. Um, I, you have to be subscribed to enter and I'm going to do three giveaways. We're going to do a Surging Sparks booster box. I think a Japanese 151 booster box and a PSA 10. I haven't decided which one at like at least a hundred dollar value. So there'll be three winners. You will have to be subscribed and I will make a dedicated video when we get a little bit closer to 10K and letting you know how to enter, right? So uh, back to Evolving Skies. These boxes, I mean, the set, the set is insane. The market's insane. A 32% gain in the past three months. Could have had this for 660 back here. Now we're at 870, 10% in the past month alone. Zoom out to the one year. Super just steady growth. It, it moves up to the 600s, just stagnated for a while and then just kept running. 110% growth um, on Evolving Skies booster boxes. Now, as if, now I, I realize that these are not, these next cards are not from Evolving Skies, but they are worth mentioning. These are promos, okay? Promos are usually cheap, sometimes they can be expensive. We got Vs and Vmaxes of the original Evolutions. These ones are some of my favorites because they didn't really get included in Evolving Skies. I believe in the Japanese sets they did, but Flareon VMAX, you got Executor. I think this is a Slowpoke, chilling. I absolutely love this card. It's only 28 bucks. So if you're wanting to pick this up, these are very affordable still. Sometimes they, they make the best cards promos. And, you know, it's, it's, some, it's nice though because you can get it for cheap price, but the downside is they're usually not too crazy in value. These came in a collection box, I believe. Then the Jolteon. Okay. This card, everything about this card, this might be one of my favorites of all of the evolutions. Just, I love everything about this card. It's around $42. This was a promo as well. Absolutely stunning. I really, really love this card. I wish we would have got, could you imagine if they, okay, this is where, this is where we're going to, make a little bit of comparisons because prismatic evolutions has all the evolutions you get you get the jolteon all in one evolving skies did not do that so that is going to be wild then we have vaporeon v max another 42 dollar card another promo really like this one as well love everything about it between so I, we don't have the high resolution of Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon to compare, but they're just really low quality. So I'm not going to pull those up right now, but we did touch on those in a past video. If you're comparing the new uh, of those, I'm taking these ones all day long. I absolutely love these cards. Then we got three more. We got the Vs. So these are just a V promo, same thing, $27. The Jolteon, really like this one as well. I'm getting like, um, like Sonic vibes from this. So... Super cool. I like this one a lot as well. I think they did a really good job, and I think I prefer the V Maxes of these promos over the Vs in all situations, but these are really nice cards as well. Then the Flareon V, um, Chilling by the Fire. Uh, this is super adorable. $30 card, uh, roughly. Got the yarn just chilling in like a, I don't know if this is like a Airbnb or like what's doing, but it's uh, it's nice there. And then the, the Vaporeon V, Similar thing, I just really like this card as well. The, the artworks on these, they really nailed, in my opinion. So, $33 there. 
Now, we're going to just talk about a few things uh, in summary. Now, Evolving Skies 2.0, is it, is it going to be Evolving Skies 2.0? It, it might be better. It might be better in some ways. Okay, and it's going to be less better, uh, less better, <laughs> worse. Uh, I know how to talk. Okay, it's going to be worse in some ways. The ways in which it will be better, guaranteed, is like we just touched on. All of the evolutions will all have special illustration rares. If you don't know, there are 32 SIRs for this set. Now that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I talked about this before. If so, part of what makes Evolving Skies so crazy is not only that the cards are good, but they're very hard to pull. It's like just under 2,000 packs for those alternate arts. Now, this is uh, Prismatic is a specialty set, right? So traditionally, specialty sets have easier pull rates. We're talking 151, Crown Zenith, right? Pull rates are easier as a rule. And if we go off of Pokemon uh, 151, go off of those pull rates, it's about one in every... 32 packs is a SIR, but because there's 32 SIRs for any specific SIR, you'll be at over like one in 900 packs for an SIR. So that lines up with the Surging Sparks pull rates pretty close, lines up with Twilight Masquerade with the Greninja. So in theory, unless they make the pull rates easier, which they could, if the pull rates are even easier than that, I, I don't think they will though. So... Evolving Skies has pull rates because rarity does play a factor. Although there are like 13,000 of the Moonbrion in a PSA 10, so there's a lot of copies out there. Um, Prismatic has all of them, right? Where maybe not all of the cards are as good of art. Um, and it really has the hype of the market. So Evolving Skies, I don't think it will be topped but i think things are going to be pretty crazy um price wise if we have let's just let's just say that pull rates are going to be 2000 for the evolving and about half a thousand for prismatic if we're using the umbreon as an example we've talked about this a little bit in a past video but i just wanted to bring it up again if we cut this price in half, it's thirteen hundred. You'd be the new Umbreon would be six fifty, and with the new Pikachu at like five hundred, right? Um, if the Leafeon V Max is two sixty, the new Leafeon is one thirty. You got Glaceon at two forty. So, you know, cut that in half. You got one twenty for the new Glaceon. New Sylveon would be a hundred. New Espeon would be about 100 as well. Um, you can start to... And then some of these other ones, like I said, the uh, the Jolteon and those other cards, those were all promos. So we don't have like hard to pull of those cards that we can reference. So we... we I mean, some people like the original Evolutions more. I'm kind of a little bit in that camp. I like Gen... Probably Gen 1, Gen 2. Both of those I like... I, pretty equally but so with those cards we don't really have anything to reference um pre-release prices what we can say for certain is pre-release prices are going to be pretty high we'll see where things end up um but that's pretty much going to do it for this one guys um just wanted to touch on those high res photos get those out there so everyone can see you get uh get a little excited let me know let me know what you guys think um about the sets comparing them is this really is it really evolving skies 2.0 uh, you know, for before we had seen anything, I kind of was like, eh, I don't know if it will be. Um, but having all the evolutions in one set. Also, with 32 SIRs, I believe we've only seen 15. We haven't even seen half of the SIRs. And we haven't seen any IRs. No illustration rares yet. So, depending on what other Pokemon they put in, is it going to be wild? So, um, yeah, it, it has the potential... I don't know if we're going to get any other like big legendaries or anything crazy in the set, but we totally could. So um, stay tuned though. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not. I do daily 
collecting and investing content. So I will make a video when we know more about this set and I'll, we'll talk about it. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.